to Johnson County Schools today. I'm your guest host, Nathaniel Shelton. Here with us today is South Johnson High School Principal Dr. David Pierce. Dr. Pierce, who did you bring with you today? Thank you, Nathaniel. I brought with me today Miss Gracie Hatch, mm -hmm. our senior class president, mm -hmm. and Mr. Ryan Dunn, our student body class president. All right. Well, it's good to have you all here today. Glad to be here. All right. So, Mr. Dunn, um, how are students going above and beyond out at South Johnson High School? You know, we believe that uh, education is not just a factor that's affected inside the classroom. It's something that's affected outside the classroom with many other, other factors. Um, a, uh, students, um, you know, can't learn if they, are in, if they are cold or hungry. And, um, you know, our goal at South is to make sure all these needs are met. And we're going for a more holistic approach. And, um, you know, to improve the overall well-being of our students and impact mm -hmm. them emotionally as well. Mm -hmm. So what are, what are the goals of this effort that you have at it, South? Um, you know, we're working hard to increase community participation with this. Um, you know, it flows abundantly in our elementary and middle schools. And, um, you know, we're trying to work hard with our community to provide these students with food, extra clothing, and emotional support by our teachers and staff to keep them better concentrated on our education, which will in turn uh, improve our current graduation rate. Mm -hmm. And can you give me a couple of specific uh, ways you're doing this? Um, we have a uh, campus food pantry, um, a school closet. There's also, we also have peer tutoring programs and we have an abundance of clubs that are centered around community service. And you know, sometimes the student services staff can't meet the uh, needs so this, that's when they go to these clubs to collect supplies. I know mm -hmm. in the past, we've purchased Christmas gifts, Christmas trees even, clothing and food for the students and families within our community. Wow, so are you a member of any of these or? Um, yes, in fact, you know, uh, SGA, we usually do, um, we usually, we had a food drive last month which mm -hmm. raised over 2,000 cans in a two week period. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, for our food pantry. And also NHS is, uh, NHS and HOSA partnered together to buy Christmas gifts and the Christmas trees for families in our community. Wow, wow, this sounds like a, like a great little project you got going on there. Um, so Dr. Pierce, do you have any data to share on, on what he's talking about? Yeah, well, Ryan shared some of it. Uh, we had over 2,000 cans of food donated mm -hmm. recently. Some of our first block classes donated over 300 cans along within classes, uh, which helped us get our food closet started. We had students that went out and picked sweet potatoes out of the field that a farmer let uh -huh. us do and, and box sweet potatoes so that we can give them out. Uh, we have clubs that are buying uh, Thanksgiving turkeys for families wow. um, and also working with the local uh, ministries like uh, Benson Area Ministry mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that, that we can move forward in our ultimate goal. Um, this closet has also helped us recently help a family that was in need uh, due to a death in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it served a lot of purposes uh, on our campus. Um, you know, other pieces of data that I would love to share as well while we're talking about data though, mm -hmm. is uh, just to, to talk about looking after the whole child at South Johnson High School has led to lots of things. And one of it being a 96% graduation rate wow. this past year, uh, which is up from over 92% previous year. That's and a big jump. That's a, that's a huge jump in the last few years. And, and I credit that to the staff and the students for taking ownership and understanding that it's more than academics mm -hmm. that makes a child successful. And so through the clothes closet, which uh, Ryan mentioned, and also our food closet, I think that makes a big a big contribution to that. Mm -hmm. um, some other pieces of data I think is pretty amazing too is our ACT scores went up over 12 percent and our EOC scores last year went up over 9 percent. Wow. Uh, and all you know our students as a school we met growth so a lot of things have moved forward with uh, adding in taking care of the whole child and, and we have to attribute our student services and our students and our clubs mm -hmm. for making this this big gain uh, you know in the growth of students. Mm -hmm. So, so why, are, why would you say these efforts are important to education? Uh, well, you know, if a student is, comes to school hungry or a student comes to school um, with confidence issues based on what they're wearing or they're having to wear the same thing over and over, uh, you, you've definitely got to get through that hierarchy of needs piece first. And mm -hmm. so when you take care of the child's needs, when they know they have someone to go to and we do it very discreetly, uh, no one in our campus would even have a clue who's receiving some of this help. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that child then gains confidence to know that they can then go into classroom and not have to worry about self-image or where their next meal is going to come from. Wow, so really supporting each other out there, Correctly. it sounds like. Correct. That's great. 
So, uh, Ryan, how is this you know, kind of benefiting Johnson County Schools? Well, we hope that other schools take this and go with it and form their own programs as well. You know, our teachers are, do great at building relationships with each and every student, um, and it benefits both our school and the county and allows the students to flourish in the classroom. Um, you know, I hope and it is our goal, you know, that we, that the other schools create programs to further rein in participation um, from their respective student bodies and the community. And um, with the predicted success of these programs that we've set in place, we hope that other schools begin to follow in our lead. Okay, well that sounds good. So Gracie, why is this important to the community? Um, many local businesses donate money or their goods and services to South on a regular basis. It is a priority at South Johnson to buy local and um, use local business from everything from the homecoming flowers to the flyers for at the athletic banquets. Um, the community and the school share a very special bond and we work extremely hard to make that bond stronger each and every year. Okay, so uh, say some of the community wants to get involved, how, how can they help, you know, those that aren't already? There are several ways and we have so many clubs um, to go and to help. Um, we have, what are some of the clubs that we have? Um, NHS, SGA, HOSA, mm -hmm. Key Club is a very big supporter of community service. We, mm -hmm. we go um, to, for Key Club, the Miracle League, um, we go and help special needs kids play baseball, which is a lot of fun and great way mm -hmm. to be involved. Okay. And um, they can also call the school. Yeah. You know, we're always looking support. And so if there's someone out there who wants to help support our school, uh, a simple call, ask to speak to me or any other administrator, and we'd love to uh, see how we can partner with them because without partnerships in our community, you know, and as Gracie was building on, we try to take when we get these partnerships or these donations and go back to our community mm -hmm. and use those funds to purchase things in our community if we need those for our food closet, for students in needs, or for anything we have going on in our community. Mm -hmm. So if they would like to partner with us, our doors are always open, I can promise you that. All right, that's good to hear. Um, so, Gracie, why is um, parent and community involvement important at the high school level? Um, it's so important. You know, in elementary school, you would go to school and the teacher would slip a little flyer and you would go home and mom and dad would see the flyer. But nowadays, you know, we don't have that. So it's really important for parents and students and teachers to check their email so we can all stay involved. Um, also, um, we are working very di diligently to hopefully um, have an LED sign um, outside our campus so um, everybody can stay more involved and let, like, let people know what's going on at South. Okay, so it's important for them to just kind of get that communication yes. and stay in the loop. To stay in the loop. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, well, Dr. Pierce, uh, how are you preparing students to be career and college ready? Uh, you know, this is uh, very, very exciting to me. One of the things about career and college ready, we offer more classes than any other high school currently in the county and CCP. Over 211 students are currently involved in college career mm -hmm. uh, pathways. Those and it, it's, it's pretty awesome because what this means, and, and a lot of people don't even understand what that means, is uh, we have CCP courses which are offered through colleges on our campus. And, um, you know, the students are able to take college courses mm -hmm. on campus. It may not mean that they're going to go to a four-year university. They may mm -hmm. be taking welding. Uh, they may be taking a herbicide class. Uh, but that is, that is very exciting. It's also exciting to me to share about our collaboration with the University of Mount Olive recently mm -hmm. uh, with an articulation agreement where they're going to start offering ag courses on our campus. And this is a university. Uh -huh. uh, these kids can actually go through our courses and leave our school and potentially go into University of Mount Olive or, or other colleges as a sophomore in college. And this is absolutely no cost to them. That's at a our huge school. savings. Mm -hmm. Huge savings, huge savings. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. Um, so, uh, Gracie, you were going to say something about nursing out at South Johnson. Um, lots of kids actually, um, after high school, graduating from high school, they go straight into their career paths. Um, we have many extensive and diverse programs to enrich our students to be competitive in today's job markets. South Johnson offers so many courses um, for the needs if that's what they're wanting to do. Um, we have pharmacy technician, veterinarian technician, nursing fundamentals, 
Um, Ron is actually in that, and um, a lot of my friends are, mm -hmm. and they really, really get a lot out of that, enjoy that. Um, we have the certifications in auto mechanics, horticulture, and food services. So if that is what you're wanting to do after high school, then we definitely meet the needs for that. Mm -hmm. Now, are you both taking advantage of college courses? At yes, sir. Um, actually, right now I'm in uh, college Spanish, and oh, wow. uh, I know lots of... Uh, Lots of my friends, they also, they'll have first, second, third, fourth block, all, all college courses. Mm -hmm. And um, they're actually going to be graduating as a sophomore, possibly even an early junior, going into university. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they're also taking, like one of my friends takes three college courses and then takes pharmacy tech, fourth block, with myself. And so she'll be going to college, but also could work as a pharmacy tech, so she's making money and getting an education at the same time. Mm -hmm. So what, what other benefits are you seeing as students participating in these types of classes? Um, it's just students see that they can take advantage of these free college courses mm -hmm. and they take advantage of them. I take advantage of them. Gracie takes advantage of them. We all take part in this great thing that's going on at South Johnston and in the county right now. Mm -hmm. um, we believe that, you know, if it's free, why, why not? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, and, you know, with our current graduation rate, you know, we're turning out more in career college ready students more than we ever have before. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really great thing. That is that's great. Awesome. Now, um, I'd like to give each of you a chance to share any other exciting news uh, that, you know, maybe I haven't asked you about. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not in FFA, but a lot of my friends are. And last week, um, there was a ribbon cutting ceremony for SJH Livestock Learning Facility which is a research facility that benefits our growing um, ag program. And I, me and Ryan went out there a few weeks ago, and um, there was miniature ponies, <laughs> there is um, cats, cats yeah, and goats, just lambs, lots of little animals, yeah. and it's just such a great way for the um, ag to research and to get a hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. So FFA pretty big at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And technology is also a very big thing at South Johnson. When Dr. Pierce came in, he made it his goal to, you know, make technology more innovative at South. He, we purchased flat screen TVs to go into the cafeteria, the commons, mm -hmm. and the new gym lobby, high traffic areas, mm -hmm. to um, further, you know, increase participation, get the word out mm -hmm. for announcements and whatnot. Um, also, we started a, uh, not really sure what Microspace. it's called, but makerspace program in the library mm -hmm. um, which you know deals with robotics computers students go in they build computers take apart computers tear them apart put them back together wow fix software we even have a 3d printer on campus mm -hmm. that students can go in and watch build things on the computer and watch them watch it be made before their eyes and we even we even brought a uh, a gift yeah. today a uh, trojan just for you key oh, chain, chain. Yeah. there you made go from our made 3d printer students. south that's pretty cool yeah so have you guys had a chance to use the 3D printer yet or? I actually did last week and I was so amazed. I actually watched that and it uh -huh. was just, it was really cool to see how they do that. I didn't, I, could, I can't work it, uh -huh. but it was really awesome that kids that are um, interested in that stuff, it's really cool. Yeah, we actually have a class that's doing uh, a lesson through mathematics in a PBL project that's building a prosthetic for a, uh, a dog that lost a leg. Oh, really? Uh, and through mathematics and using the 3D printer, they're hoping to be able to create that prosthetic. For the dog? Yeah, for the dog. For a dog in yeah. the area? In the area, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. some hypothetical dogs. Yeah, some a real dog. dog. Yeah, they actually took pictures of it, measured uh -huh. it, and everything. You know his name? Yeah. I do not know his name. We'll, we'll call him South for now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right. Well, um, we're coming up on the end of our show. Is there anything else, Dr. Pierce, you'd like to yeah, say? Yeah, I'd just like to first off do definitely a, a huge shout out to a couple of students. Uh, recently, we had Miss Sydney Willis finish 11th in the state in girls golf. Uh, Mr. Jacob Gonzalez this weekend finished uh, fourth in the state in 3A in cross country. Our football team this weekend will start the first round of playoffs against Eastern Wayne. Uh, our Skills USA team placed first in a number of places uh, in a number of different areas and contests this past summer and went to the uh, na national conference. Uh, and our former FFA student, Shelby Bar Byerly, is a president of the FFA of the state. And oh, so there's lots uh -huh. of things going on with students where they're just moving to the top at South Johnson High School. And, and I would also like to say from the bottom of my heart, you know, being new to South this year, the students uh, and the staff and the community have just been amazing. Uh, to work with and I have felt such at home 
and I look forward to helping the school move forward and continuing that journey, but I'd like to tell them thank you so much. It's meant a lot. All right. Well, it's great to have you all today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank right. you so thank much. You. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Johnson County Schools Today. Come visit us again next time.